Now we turn to a joyful and much anticipated occasion as hundreds of Catholic faithful from the Berkshires crowded into St. Stanislaus Casca Church in Adams for a very special mass last weekend. It was the first time in more than three years that a liturgy was celebrated at the traditional Polish church. The parish and church were closed in December of 2008 as part of the diocesan-wide pastoral planning process. Terry Hegarty was at the reopening liturgy and has this report. For the first time in more than three years, Mass was celebrated at St. Stanislaus Koska Church in Adams last weekend as a standing room only crowd of approximately 750 prayed and rejoiced. The nearly 200 people who kept vigil in the church since December of 2008 when it closed led the procession for the 8 a.m. Palm Sunday liturgy. Today is, is absolutely the culmination of a lot of emotions. When you go to places like Europe and Italy, you see their, oh, the churches are open and people go to churches. And here it's so sad to hear that they close them. And um, I just think, I'm so just thrilled to have this place still back again. The church was closed as part of the diocesan-wide pastoral planning process, which saw the closure of dozens of churches across western Massachusetts as the diocese consolidated parish communities. As of January 1, 2009, St. Stanislaus Parish was merged with Notre Dame and St. Thomas Aquinas Parish in town. The new parish is now known as Blessed John Paul the Great. Former parishioners appealed the closure of the church and the parish to the Vatican. Officials in Rome ruled that the church must remain open, but they did not reverse the diocesan decision to merge the parishes. St. Stanislaus Church will serve as a chapel of John Paul the Great Parish. While the mandate that the church remain in use came all the way from the Vatican, local cooperation between Bishop McDonald, Father Boyle, and the faithful is what resulted in a regular weekly mass being celebrated here once again. Father Daniel Boyle says that Bishop McDonald was very accommodating. He gave us more than I had hoped for, um, and uh, he was just extremely kind and extremely generous in allowing the status quo uh, to be reestablished here. Everything that we had at the close of 2008 has been restored. Yeah. For this is my body, which will be given up. That restoration primarily includes the celebration of one Mass each Sunday morning, something that has meant so much to so many. Following the liturgy, Father Boyle addressed the crowd in the church hall. It's a great day, a proud day, a historic day, and I thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. The reopening Mass showed that Catholics in the Adams area are unified. Ideally, we all come together and work together for the building up of the church and the greater honor and glory of God. We need to continue this momentum, right? We need to keep moving forward. You can't just show up to Mass this Sunday, right? You've got to show up to Mass every Sunday. Uh, 8 a.m. is not that big of a deal. It's a great way to start the weekend, or end the weekend. And it looks like they will have plenty of people there to keep them company. Reporting for Real to Real, this is Terry Hegarty. We certainly wish the Catholic community of Adams the very best as they celebrate the joy of this Easter season.